Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to an app that can make your feedback giving much uh, more streamlined. So I could, so I've received some student writing in Google Docs here. I could add my comment. I could type out what I want to say and give the feedback that way. But I've got 25 kids that can add up really quickly. So I'd rather leave oral feedback. So what I'm going to do is open up a new tab. I'm going to do a search for the Chrome Web Store. There it is at the top there. And then when I'm in the web store, I'm going to do a search for talk and comment. The talk and comment is an extension, which is sort of like a mini app that makes your web browser even more functional, gives extra functionality to you. So I'm just going to add to Chrome and it's going to say, sure. I'll say, yes, add extension. And it'll pop up as a little icon in my extension toolbar at the top here. So you can see I've got a few extensions going on up there. That's okay. So for talk and comment, I've found the best uh, for it to work most effectively. You should, after you've installed it, close the browser and reopen the browser. Uh, and when you open it this time, you will see once it loads, you will see on the right hand side a, a little talk and comment icon. So now here it is on the right hand side. You can move where it is on the screen. So now uh, when I'm going to give feedback to this student, uh, I've read their paragraph. As soon as I click on this button, it's going to start recording what I say. So I'm going to think about the feedback I'm going to give, and then I'm going to press record. Hi, Isaac. Thanks for submitting your task. Just having a read through. I really love the, the thinking that you've engaged in this. You've really thought about uh, the storyline. What I would challenge you to do now is to add more of David's internal thoughts to this third paragraph here. So you've done a lot of telling. Uh, so now I want to challenge you to try and see if you can do some showing rather than telling and really help me to understand what he was thinking and feeling at the time and how can you get me to understand that better. Keep it up. Now when I'm finished, I'm going to press the tick. So as, is, as I was saying all of that, it was being recorded and it's been crammed into this player. And now all I need to do is press, I'm just going to copy that. So I'm going to do control C on my keyboard. And I'm going to over here paste uh, that link. So now when the student logs back on, they'll be able to see there's a voice message or a voice feedback left for them. So they just press that button and it plays the feedback that I've just given. So that is talk and comment. Uh, it has been around for a while and it is absolutely brilliant. I've been using it for a long time and I highly recommend it. You're welcome.